Today I came up with an interesting topic that's called Cautionaries in Oracle Fusion Performance Management. Before we get into chapter discussion, I would request everyone kindly watch this video till the end. And if you find this video is interesting, please subscribe to my channel and share it with all your Fusion friends. Okay, let's quickly go ahead and see why do we use Cautionaries in Oracle Fusion Performance Management and how do we configure the Cautionaries in application. Typically, we can create questionaries to add to performance documents to gather feedback from participants who are requested to provide feedback about workers. And to calculate worker potential rating during the content preparation stage before a talent review meeting. Now, let's quickly go ahead and see how to create questionaries in the application in order to access the questionaries in performance management you must have hr specialist role and in your implementation project you must be included workforce development feature once you have both then you can able to access performance management now I logged in as an admin in order to create a questionaries we have to go to setup and minus once you go to the setup and minus space select the offering as workforce development and look for task called questionaries once you click on question whatever the task that you are seeing these are all related to questionaries just click on any task so that all the tasks will be shown up here these are all related to questionaries so in order to create a questionaries first thing what we have to do is we have to create a questions in the question library then we have to add those questions to the questionary template so in the questionary when we are creating questionary template we have to add our questions to the questionary template then we have to add that questionary template to the questionary these are the three steps that we have to follow whenever you wanted to allow participants to provide feedback about workers then only we use the questionaries otherwise questionaries are not mandatory now to create a questionaries first what we have to do we have to go to the question library there we have to create a folder and then we have to create questionaries which we are going to ask to the participants about worker so i'm going to create questionnaire here so first i am creating folder in order to create a folder just click on this one fusion technologies performance questions and then click on ok once you create a folder that folder will be shown up here this is my folder select the folder and then create a questionnaires in that folder to create a question just click on plus button once you click on plus button then the questionary question form will be appear this is the question form so question id will be generated by system automatically if you want to use custom question id you can use it right now i'm using my custom question id so this is my question one id and then whoever is going to create this question that person will be the owner even if you if you want to remove it you can remove it even if you remove automatically the owner will be selected as the concerned person who is creating the question and then if you want this question to be active then you have to make it as an active and then here you have public and private if you uh, if you keep it as public then this this question can be accessed by anyone if you keep it as private then this question can be accessed by the person who created this question i mean the owner and then you can write the questions here now i'm quickly going and writing the questions here my questions are so i'm going to first question Describe the worker contribution to the team. 
that's what my question and the question type you can select here we have different types of question type these are lookups so first i'm creating text text is nothing but here participant will give you the feedback saying that whatever he wanted to write about worker contribution that can be written in a text format and then plain text so yeah if you want to allow any attachments you can just click on allow attachment so that along with the text message you can also attach the attachments so what would be the minimum length and the maximum length of the text you can mention here i mentioned two and 200 maximum 200 minimum 20 and then save and close i have created my first question then i will create my next question so in order to create next question just click on create once you click on create then give the id question to make it as an active so if you want to see this in active position and then and then write the question which you wanted to ask to the participant about the worker please rate this worker performance for the past year that's what my question that's what i am going to ask participant and then here you can select choices whether you want to specify single choice or multiple choice whatever you want i'm selecting single choice here in the list uh, you can select the choice list whatever you want to select how do you want to whether you want to select in radio buttons or single choice from the list i'm selecting radio button list and then you can select here rating button if you have if you are ready with your custom rating model you can uh, attach that custom rating model here or else if you wanted to assign or if you wanted to attach seeded rating model which is created by oracle that you can utilize this is the cd rating model for the performance so i have taken this and then save it this is the, my second question to the participant about workers and then i am going to create third question so yeah my ftq3 this is my third question and then active and then write your question here my question for third year is this one so click on enter and then select question type as multiple choices so that it will it will allow you to select multiple answers here you can select however you want to select select check multiple choices multiple choices from list whatever you want you can select it and then maximum number of selections or minimum number of selections. minimum one should be selected maximum two can be selected and if you want to, to create your own rating model you can create or if you want to attach your rating model you can attach here for time being i'm going to create it so i have created custom rating models here so these are the rating models team lead mentor and trainer and project manager or else you can mention teacher also okay and then save it here please remember here i selected question type as multiple choice and response type as multiple choice from the list then click on save and close and i will create my fourth question so so i'm creating my fourth question my fourth question name just click on create then take the fourth question here so i'm taking my fourth question please add some available proof so question id will be generated automatically so if you want you can give your custom question id and question code so make it as an active by default whatever the folder that you have created that folder will be selected and i'm asking please add some available proofs which can establish the performance of worker for the past year so this is the question that i am going to ask participant and then here you can select response as no response so that all these fields will be disappear so to attach attachments you have to select allow attachments so that it will allow you to attach the attachments just click on save and close 
so now we have created question is we have created a folder called my ft performance questions this is the folder name under this folder we have created four questions yeah this is how we can create the questionaries questions in the library questionary library once we create the questions in the question library then we have to create the questionary template i will show you how to create the questionary templates in my next session thank you thanks for watching